Hello everyone, this is Pedro from Pytalista with one more video. In this video I'd like to demonstrate how to set up Azure Monitor in any application that you have, either your local application that you're testing or something that you deploy, um, or you can do even like a notebook that's going to be the example that I'm going to give. So you may want to record the logs into a file and then to see and debug later. But a better way to do it, it is to use Azure Monitor, which is a, a tool to monitor your applications. And then you can save that the traces of your application to a database where you can query and see your logs in a more efficient way rather than just uh, saving to uh, just a text file or a database. So let's get started. So uh, the idea of this uh, tutorial is not to, let me just change my experience here to data engineering. Um, I'm just gonna open a new notebook to do this demo. I'm doing that from Fabric. So I'm just gonna uh, call demo, call it, uh, call it demo up again, uh, Azure Monitor. All right. That's it. So let me just delete this. So there is the um, there is this uh, documentation in Azure. So there is the code example that I'm gonna follow. Uh, I'm just gonna switch back to the notebook, and then I have uh, an example um, code here. So if you are going to do logging in Python, so you would need the, to import the uh, logging. So just to do like a quick example here, let me just start this notebook. So after that, so you initialize like a, a logger, you can call it anything that you want. Uh, and then you get the name of the, of the file that you are working on, which is the name, it's an attribute in Python. Uh, and then let's set the, for this example here, uh, oops, I'm gonna set the, the level of the logger to info. I'm not going to, again, this is not a Python uh, logger. I'm assuming that you've already know how to do logging in Python. This is just an example. And then just for an example here, I'm just going to do a stream handler, which just like logs the, just prints out the logger to the uh, command line. In this case, it's going to be the output of this cell here. And I'm just gonna format format nicely the the handler uh, with uh, time, name, level, and message. And then I'm gonna add that formatter to the hand to the handler of the stream handler, and then add the handler to the logger. All right, so let's run this. And with that, I have got my log set uh, set up. If I do uh, logger and then I do a first the, the level of my logger. Let's say if I do um, info and then if I put here something like uh, uh, logging info and that's gonna print out uh, logging info. Yeah, so I think it's gonna do it twice, but that's the main file. And that's info okay that's right so but that's not going anywhere it's just like um, sending that to my uh, just output so what we need to do then so I'm gonna go to Azure here and I'm gonna create a resource here called application insights which is a service from Azure monitor so I'm just gonna create a new application inside here. Uh, we'll create. And as the subscription, I'm just gonna create a new uh, resource group called demo Azure Monitor. Let's put demo Azure Monitor as one thing. And then I'm just gonna call the name of this application site. Let's put demo 
Azure Monitor. Yeah, the name is available. I'll put Australia probably close to my house. Doesn't matter, but let's put Australia Southeast. Uh, yeah, so create a review. It should do it. Create. Now it's creating. So with that, let's wait a little bit for this to finish. Yeah, it looks like it's almost done. Yeah. Okay. Um, what I'm gonna do now, I'm going to create, um, get a something called applications connection string, because this is just a demo, and I'm just gonna destroy the um, the thing after. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna create a new cell here on top and create this. Uh, constant here applications connection connection string which is if I go here can you see connection string I'm just gonna copy this uh, put that into a string now on top of this just handler that I'm using just to log to the console I can also add to my handler another handler called Azure Log Handler. And then for that, I will need a library called Open Census Extension Azure. Open, open Census. So let's install it. I'm just gonna put that here, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm gonna do bang. And pip. Oh, sorry, not that. I just need to install the name, which is this one. Yeah. That should work. Maybe this space here, I think. Okay, let's install this library. The, my notebook cluster. Yeah, it's finished. There are some errors here, but I don't think that's an issue here. So let's import this library. Sorry for the mess here. <laughs> I need to import this class called Azure Log Handler. And then I can initialize uh, that. I can add that handler to the logger, which I'm going to put here. Uh, just the code, it's exactly what's in the instruction here in the documentation, uh, here. So I need to initial, uh, import that and then add handler, and just add that handler here. That's what exactly I'm doing here. Uh, yeah, here, and then I'm just passing the connection string. Cool. So with that, I'm just run that again and then that's gonna send that to this application to this uh, application insights here so let's do it let's do a info log can you see that there are two lines here because it's going for both loggers let's do a another one let's do a War name. Let's see. War name is one name. So what's happening here? And then let's do um critical um critical. and then let's do one that's not going to be sent because the level is currently info. Let's say debug. The bug's gonna just log in the console. No, it's not going to log in the console because the log is info should not. Okay. 
let's put it here the button let's see yeah so you can see that the debug hasn't been logged because the live of the log is info if i do here just to uh, so that's the levels Uh, log levels yeah there is the bot info warning error in critical cool now let's go back to it's pretty much it so let's see if that was sent to the logger um probably it takes a few minutes but if you want to check the loggers it's going to go to the logs then you can close this and then you just can you see that there is this application in size database and then there is this table here called traces for some reason I cannot scroll down to that okay so yeah that's the one let's pull logs close but there's a table called traces so click that and well, let's do a query. So if I put traces and then I want to do all the traces, yeah, can you see that it's coming here? The warning critical, it's coming in the let's do another one to see if it comes up. Let's do one, so that's to make sure that. It's us. Uh, this is a logger from a fabric notebook, and then just send that log, and then that gets sent to the application insights. Let's do a query again. So this is a logger from Fabric. So that's it that I'd like to say today. I'm gonna now delete my resources and make sure that no one uses it, but no problem. And that's the name. So that's it for this video. So thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, like the video and see you next time.